Pre-season, baby. Let's get it. especially in that semi-final and final, the, the love and admiration that, and I know a lot of the other staff feel it as well, but I've never reflected like that ever. And yes, we've got challenges ahead. Yes, we're now the hunted. I'm gonna talk about all the different challenges that come with being the reigning premiers, but let's keep glowing and reflecting and be really proud and take that confidence into the new season. What we do is really inspiring, really invigorating, there's something about the teaching of coaching and playing in the premiership that I love. The pressure that undulates through the week and through the year. But you couldn't do it if you didn't have a good group of people. Uh, you didn't have a real clear identity, which we do, we do here. Uh, and you didn't have a really clear purpose. But it's going to be something pretty special. And I'm looking forward to finding out where you think we can take this. Yeah, ready, ready, ready. Hunt. Ready to go. We need Sydney buddies. Sydney the attackers in the yellow, lads. Well done, well done, trainers. Control the speed of ball, please, lads. Give them a chance. We'll build into it. Go. Yes, Jerry. White, turn it go. White. Fix it, fix it. Nice, Fight it, fight it, Will. Fight it, Will. Go! Good! Let drive! Let drive! Get the wrestle! Get the wrestle! So this morning we were measuring the boys' body fats. So what we do is we use Isaac protocol where we take eight sites from the body and we measure the body fats using calipers. Each player has their own individual needs and this is based on uh, position, how old they are, how they're developing. It's all about how they perform on the pitch and that comes first and then what their body composition is comes second. Someone like Dino Lamb who, who's put on a, a couple of kilos last season uh, but we really saw gains in lean muscle mass that's, and, and gains in the gym as well so his strength was really high. Um, you know what, what we did for him, put him under a hypertrophy program, we uh, put him under a, a diet plan, a supplement program um, that, that really helped sort of promote those gains of muscle mass. And that was looking at things that he does in and around training. So what what is he come in, what is he eating, what is he having for, for lunch, post training, but also looking at what he's doing in his off days as well and how we can continue to promote those gains in mus muscle mass throughout the training week. What we try and do at the club is, is really promote like a food first approach. That's the number one thing. And try and develop a culture around food. So you've seen like today, we have um, we have a great culture in the, in, the, in the performance kitchen. We have two two new chefs that can that help and drive that message across. We take it sort of a, a joint approach. So we might get some information from the coaches. We might get some information from the strength and conditioning coaches how they're performing in the gym. But then you know the number one thing is how do the how does the player feel uh, as well and. We'll make sure we sit down as, as a group and, and get a target together and then, uh, and then put something in place that helps promote that target. Um, usually over a matter, it could be over a matter of weeks, uh, short term targets, then we might have that long term target as well. Pretty simple, today's just gonna be getting you into a bit of circuit training. It's about a seven out of 10, so this is definitely not going as hard as you can. Yeah, it's been good. I think it's been the right balance um, yesterday. Obviously the legs are feeling a bit tired after the rugby, but no, now I feel good to go. Looking forward to tomorrow, um, and I'm thinking it'll be the same again. I think tomorrow's going to be really hard, but over the weekend you'll obviously get a chance to recover um, and fly into next week. And it's just important we keep building week to week, because as I said, it's five weeks until our first pre-season game, which is probably shorter than we've had in a while. Um, so it's just important we build and don't do anything too stupid and just make sure we can hit the, hit the season running. Six lengths as fast as you can. 
Yeah, we've um, been doing some introductory swimming um, as a part of their fitness sessions. Um, it's fairly new that we've been adding in, um, and we're doing it as a means of general fitness for them, um, because as you can imagine, in this high stress period during pre-season, we want to kind of deload them, but also get the most out of every session. So it's just a really nice way to get some good general fitness adaptations whilst putting as little stress on the body as possible. Forwards wise, they're the impressive ones because they're the big heavy guys. You've got Matt Simmons, which is crazy that he's amazing at swimming. Um, Tom Lorde, Ross Chisholm, oh, sorry, James Chisholm. And then in the backs, you've got the other Chisholm, Ross Chisholm. Um, Mr. Liner is fantastic at it. Um, and then you've got the, the guys that you'd expect, like the Staffords, um, the Steels there. They're the good swimmers as well. We have a feeder on the red. So Will, you're going to carry overs again. So I'm defending my inside shoulder, front foot loaded shoulders. Forward coming up, and then I... There we go. Happy? Okay, so keep rolling it around, boys. Let's go! Oh, 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 been trying to get to know the new boys as much as possible and, and try and help them settle in. But yes, yeah, it's, it's been good so far. I'm really enjoying, enjoying the training at the moment and looking forward to, to the weeks ahead. We'll look to, to try and play the same way that we, we played last, last season with that you know, expensive, expansive style of rugby. We want to attack, we want to you know, play with the ball in our hands, but obviously you know, we've got to defend as well. We've got to improve the defensive side of our game and, and not concede as many points. But yeah, no. Not much changes, little tweaks here and there, but all the boys are really excited to get going. Everybody's been very welcoming. Uh, had a few sessions outside, a few fitness sessions as well. So we're trying to get into a groove of things now, um, but it's really, really good. I'm really excited to be here and I can't wait to start the season now as well. There's a lot of emphasis on our recovery as well here, uh, which, is, which is good, uh, but we do work very hard when we, when we do work. Um, I guess, yeah, pre-season is, is like, like that everywhere in the world, but um, I think the way they look after their players as well here is, is fundamental and yeah, it's, it's a bit different maybe to, to where I was previously. Last one. Yes, Tommy. Here we go, staff. Right. Yes, shoot. Come, come. Nice lad. Thirty seconds left. Two minutes. Yeah, right, right, right. I'll have it right, I'll have it. Come on, shoot. I'll shoot, I'll shoot, I'll shoot. You've been done so badly. Yeah. You've been done so badly. That was a dummy. It's a free kick. dummy was so good. It wasn't it? It was yeah. Two, three. I can't make myself, so uh, Lewis Jasmine. Definitely not Jack Stafford. He's dreadful. We're probably not the best team, but it's about just it's about being here, you know what I mean? Yes, he's <laughs> not. Luke Moore, Northmore, he was creating some internal internal conflicts within our team. That's not my fault. We're the best team here by far. Oh, 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 oh.